and Osei Bempa shared 15 votes. The elected parliamentary candidate Ernest Enim called on all contestants to support his bid to win the Kumeo by election. It was a close contest, but MPP is the winner. We have a winner. I congratulate Ernest. And like we said, we pledge to support him. I'm happy he has won. Congrats to him. Congratulations to Ernest. Uh, he's done it. Uh, he's done it for Kumeu. Uh, we will all support him. Um, it was a good experience. Uh, I mean, it's my first time, and I think um, I made a little bit of impact, but um, all the best to NS, and we all support him uh, to take the seat for, I mean, to, to retain the seat. Uh, so congratulations to NS. From this moment, I dissolve my campaign team, and I'm committed to forming an inclusive campaign team that will bring together everyone from the divide so that we can collectively fight for the battle ahead of us. I know my people believe in my vision and my vision is to bring everyone together and I believe that as we are committed to ensuring peace, everybody following me will be shipped in line and we would all come together and understand that this victory is not just for NSD or NIM or my group but for everybody who is a party member of our great party here. I know my people believe in me and they are committed to ensuring that we work together as one unit. I believe that once we work as a unit, victory will be our portion. Kumau, as we all know, is an MPP seat and once party members are committed to ensuring that we are working together, I believe that victory would be on a silver platter for us. Let's return now to Kumeu in the Ashanti region where Nanayao Jima is joining us via Zoom. Nanayao, so following a Nim's victory speech, how would you describe the mood among the party members and supporters um, in his request for a united party towards the election? So far, after the um, results were declared, you could see excited or jubilant supporters of both parties, or of all people, or all the people who were there as delegates and other party members who were at the um, election grounds, um, all of them together were in jubilant mood. Um, so far, the messages have all been changed on unity within the party because the Kumaru constituency is um, naturally or traditionally is the stronghold of the new patriotic party but due to divisions within the party whenever they are going to election um, the party suffer or the electoral fortunes of the party suffer mm -hmm. so for instance um, in 2020 the um, independent candidate uh, mr kokudia was able to pull about 11,000 votes mm -hmm. when whilst the uh, new patriotic party member of parliament or the, uh, the, the number of parliament that is uh, Philip Basua was able to pull 14,000 votes, 3,000 votes different. This is unusual when it comes to the Kumaru constituency. So, um, in order to win and win the seat convincingly, the NPP will need to present a united front. And this is what they've started, and they are working towards ensuring, or um, they are working towards ensuring that the party is united for the uh, by-election, which comes up on the 23rd of uh, May, that's next month. Right. Uh, I mean, with the other candidates, especially Sewa and uh, Mr. Dr. Da Costa, I mean, already they've considered defeat, but do you know whether they've conferred with this, um, with Mr. Enim on how to move forward un united? So immediately after the election, I saw all of them going to okay. Mr. Enim to congratulate him. And in the interview I had with all of the um, uh, losing aspirants, they declared their support for Mr. Enim. They said that the Kumau um, NPP has suffered divisiveness um, for a very long time. So they would want to come together and ensure that the party unites for victory. Now, um, Mr. Enim, on his part, um, in an interview that I had with him, said that he was willing and prepared to bring all of them on board 
immediately after the election, he dissolved his campaign team. And he believes that that is the first step towards ensuring that the party unites. And he, he says that he's going to build um, an all-inclusive campaign to, to help his base to become the member of parliament for the global constituency. So, so far, um, among the, um, the various um, aspirants for the election, they are yet to sit and officially um, have conversation among them and um, strategize on how they are going to win the seat for the new patriotic party. But from all indications from the speeches and from the interviews that we had at Kumawu today, it looks like all of the aspirants, the losing ones, and also the, the, the parliamentary candidates who have now been elected are willing to work together to ensure that they deliver victory in the third day. Thank you very much, Nanai Aljima. And Nanai Aljima is with our sister station, Love FM, in Kumasi. Mm -hmm.